Hey girls, do you know what time it is? It must be party time. Hello beauties! It's been a while since I last posted on my Instagram and I've been missing catching up on the latest makeup trends. However, I've become too lazy lately to update my stash. So now, I'm just going to show you what my faves are for summer. So this is my new pouch. It's from Holika Holika, which I got for free when I bought some of their makeup. Let's see what's inside of it. Ta-da! Here are my makeup stash for the summer. So some of it, I'm sure you're very familiar with because I've shown on my posts on Instagram. Some, though, are quite new, so I'll introduce them to you. Okay, let's start first with my basics. Okay, so lately I just want to concentrate on natural look. One more in, I don't have to put on a lot of makeup, but still I have to be meticulous in doing my procedure. So for my base, I'm sure you're familiar with this because I featured this in my last fave picks. So this is my Vanilla Coso Fall in Love Soul Cushion. So this is still my favorite cushion right now. Wait, let me open it. Okay. But I've upgraded it and actually leveled up in using this as my base. Instead of using this alone, I mixed it I mix it with the cream. Okay, this one. From Nisha. Let's put it here. There you go. This is the signature real complete BB cream with SPF 25. Yes. So if you can see the SPF of this one is very low because I found out that if the higher the SPF is, the more it makes you look white in pictures. And I hate having a white face. So what I do with this is I mix with my cushion like this one. Alrighty, so I just put in a few amount there. And then what I do is I grab my cushion get a few other amount and then just mix it with my sponge to get a combined again. There you go. Here it is when it's on my hand. Okay. The reason I do this is because this Vanilla Foundation is actually quite light for my skin tone right now. Especially after going on a swimming, I tend to go tan. So this BB cream, signature BB cream, has the right amount of shade that I want. Just the right shade for me. So I mix it with this one to make this cushion foundation a bit darker and suit for my and which will suit my skin. Since it's summer and my skin is very oily, I must use a powder that will make sure that my, my oiliness will be um, reduced. So I tried this Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder, which I'm liking so much. I love it because it's very natural, it's translucent, plus I don't feel anything at all when I wear it. It's like natural second skin. So it says here, with Jeju Natural Mineral and Natural Originated Mint. So that's the back portion. It's all in Korean so I can read it. This is really very good. I put this after I finish with my cushion foundation. Uh, I let my cushion foundation stay for about a minute before applying this one so that it won't cake. And I love this, I don't need any touch-ups after. Okay, next one. I have two blushes here, which I use for this season. The first one is the one I got from Aldea Korea, which is the Fresh Fruit Lip and Cheek from Skinny's. To all the makeup aficionados here in the Philippines, Aldea Korea has now launched their latest 
what do you call this online shop here in the Philippines, which is LKFPH. So if you want to know where to find this website, just go to my Instagram posts. I think I got at least a few posts there promoting the site. So this one I got from there, the Fresh Fruit Lip and Chic from Skin Food. I super love this lip and cheek tint because of the colors and the way it naturally blends on my skin. Okay, let's open it. As promised by their packaging, there is a, there are at least three colors in it that you can use can use or combine to make the perfect spring colors. So the one on the left, innermost left, is their pinkish color. Then the other one is the slightly flesh color. Then the third one is the lavender one. Out of the three, I use the middle one the most because it really, really, really matches my skin so much. And I also like the lavender one when I want to go, how do you call it, whimsical? <laughs> but it's really a good color. I'll swatch it for you. Okay, let's do first the pink. There you go. Can you see it? See, it's a bit girly and it's very pigmented. So if you want to put this on your cheek, make sure to dab just a few of it. Then pat gently so that this, the color won't really stick too much on your skin and make you look like a cloud. Okay, this one is my favorite. The flesh tone. There. Can you see it? It's almost the same as the packaging of my lip mask. So it's a bit... It's a lot, actually a lot lighter than this, the first one I squatch, then the third. So this is the lavender. A bit color pink as well. So there you go. We have the pink, the flesh, and the lavender. So I think this one will work with a lot of our skin tones. Here in the Philippines, we're a bit... We range from dark to fair skin, but there's also the one in the middle, which is, I like to believe my skin tone is. So I think this fits a lot of the skin tone here in our country. Alrighty, next is my second blush. This one I recently got from Etude House. Although this is a, an old limited collection, I still love it because I'm a big fan of Carrie Hess. Carrie has his illustrations. They are so chic and so Parisian. I love it. So, I got this one from a dude house, a Dreaming Swan Blush. Okay, let's see what's at the back. It says here that it's from a dude house and it says Dreaming Swan Eye and Cheek. So, you can use it for your eyes and your cheek. I'm currently using it for my cheeks. I haven't tried it on the eyes yet. But I'm willing to experiment and try on a look that I learned from Get It Beauty last night, which is the, the one wherein you put pink eyeshadow on your eyes and your under eyes so that you look innocent and dainty. What the makeup artist said is that it gives, it gives off an aura of being fragile and makes men want to protect you or something like that because it seems like you're, you just cried. The look that you give off is give off is like you just cried. So might as well try it. Let's see the swatch of it. So inside is this very cute puff which has the Dreaming Swan illustration in it. Graphic. So from this one too. It's barely used. Because I don't usually use the puff when doing blusher. I use I prefer a wide brush so that I can put it on evenly. So here it is. So this is how it looks like. It's almost the same. It's almost the same color as its label, as its packaging. So what you see from the outside is actually what you get from the inside, which is I super enjoyed in products and I appreciate from brands. So this is how it looks on my fingers. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's actually how it looks like. 
So if you can see, it has a slight shin. It's not completely pink. It has a, it's more like coral. And it has subtle shimmer, which I love. It serves also as a highlighter. So while putting it on your cheeks, it will give you uh, an illusion. A highlight on your cheeks that will make your, your cheekbones look higher than it is. Standby is standby with all my heart is that you should never leave home without fixing your eyebrows. You can forget your lip gloss, your lipstick, your blush on your eyeshadow, whatnot, but never ever forget to fix your eyebrows. That's why I've been depending on this one for the longest time. Can't remember since college, I think. This is Etude House's Easy Brow Pencil. I love this one because it comes in a pencil form, which makes it very easy to use. I've been trying to work on liquid liners, but it's really not my thing. So this one, see, it's almost finished because <laughs> I've been using it every time I go out. So there. It's natural brown, not natural or dark brown, which suits my skin and my hair. Because I have dark hair, very dark hair. So, I just line up my eyebrows. I just do an outline and then softly and gently fill up the gaps. So that, it, and then brush it with this one. So that I will have natural brows. Doesn't look overdone. So to, to those who are newbies, newbies in doing their brows, I suggest you buy this one and it's quite cheap. I think around 200 pesos 150 Then for my eyes. I started skipping on eyeshadow I think last month when I started become lazy doing my own makeup So I just depend on this one My brown eyeliner from Majolica Majorca Pencil liner See, I love this color black thing before the pencil itself and if you can see it's almost used up because I've been using it a lot why don't we do some swatch okay okay the one below is the Majolica Majorica pencil liner which I use on my eyeline and my under eye and then the one on top is the is the brow liner from Etude House so if you can see the brow liner from Etude House is actually a lot lighter compared to the eyeliner I'm using for my eyelids for my eyeline there let's move on to the lips so this one from Laneige, I'm using this as an overnight lip mask. Because of summer, the heat is super unbearable here in the Philippines and it tends to dry off my lips. So what I do is that, to give it a quick fix, I spread this on and leave it overnight. Then in the morning, I just, I just tissue off and rinse my lips and then I, voila! great lips again this is a great great investment from the lips. I love this one let me open it first it has this pink dainty tube and inside is there I'm using the travel kit one so it's not yet used if you can see it's still not used because I'm using the travel kit one the smaller one that comes with it but this one is how it looks like this is super effective I can just leave it on overnight and forget about it and then the following day I'm very confident I have flake free lips I'm becoming a huge fan of this Korean drama Descendants of the Sun and the lead star Song Ye Kyo's character Kang Moyeon uses very natural spring inspired makeup which is a mixture of pinks, peaches, corals so 
I decided lately to channel that inner Kang Moyan on me. So, this is my favorite, currently my fave lip stain right now. Innisfree Vivid Tint Rouge. So, this one comes in number two. Shade number two. Let's see. Can't see it properly. But this looks a little bit more orange than it actually is without camera. So, um, in real life, without camera, it's a bit more flesh, a bit more lighter than orange. Okay, let's do some. Stop proofing! <laughs> Keep some rolling. Let's do it. There you go. So let's do some swatch of this cute, very cute and very feminine shade. So this is how it looks when swatched. As I've said, it's a bit more orangey in pictures and video. But in actuality, it's very, very subtle. Very mm, light orange with a hint of flesh. There. What I like about this one, it's, it's very vivid, true to its name. It has good pig pigmentation, but it tends to dry. So... I suggest you put on lip balm before using this one. Still inspired by Kang Moyon's Spring Vibe, I got this one from Laneige. This is from their holiday collection. Lucky holiday collection. This is, um, what they call this? This is part of their line, the their lip line, which is a gloss that has a lipstick lipstick um, payoff so let's open it so here it goes it's the Laneige intense lip gel custard coral so it's custard coral so expect it to be a mixture of pink and orange let's see this watch pinkish red almost red but it's pinkish orange and it's a it's a bit darker than the than the Innisfree one, but this one is a lot more liquidy than the Innisfree one. Although the colors payoff is still good, gives just the right amount of pink and, and orange. So there. Then my third lip color is more on the pink. This one was worn by. Junji Yun, our chance me and you came from the stars. And this became super popular because it was shown in the drama. So let's open it. This is this is the Ayope Water Fit Lipstick in Forever Pink. Number 44. Yes, number 44. Okay, if you can see, it's very pink very pink although in this video it's a lot like reddish pink but it's not in reality it's very very pink and there's not a lot of it in this in the truth but this is a bit expensive than ordinary lipstick probably because Ayope is kind of high-end in Korea but the quality and the color payoff is very very excellent I love it I'm so satisfied with this one so, besides giving good color payoff, I love that it's very moisture surged. It moisturizes the lips even without lip balm, so I, I don't have to worry about drying. Plus, the color is just lovely. It reminds me of Chan Sung Yi's signature lip color in the drama. So, it's the upper one. The upper pink one. There, can you see? You can see from this angle that it's very moisture-packed. Moisture it's actually shimmering because of the, the water effect of the lipstick. I love it. It's a different color from my other tints, which I, 
it's a different color from my other tints which is great because I, I can mix it with other colors and create another amazing shade so there it is Chansungi's signature color to cap off my makeup I make sure to use a makeup fixer so this one sorry for the dirty packaging I think some of my eyeliner smudged on it this one from Vanilla Co. is the Prime Primer Makeup Fixer Finish and Fix. So I use this after I put on my makeup. I spray this on a bit far from my face. I think a good distance so that it won't ruin my makeup. This makes sure, this ensures that my makeup stays put all throughout and gives me a fresh dewy look. I also use this before putting on my cushion foundation. What I do is that um, I get my palm. So let's get my palm. So I get this off and then spray some amount, some amount of this prime primer fixer on it before I dab on my cushion foundation. This helps. This helps my foundation to stay put and moisturize my skin as well. Because as you can see, the weather here in the Philippines. Because as you can see, the weather here in the Philippines is super hot. So yeah, try putting this. This I recommend it. All my makeup essentials in one patch, in one bag. So these are my recommended makeups for the summer. Never ever forget to put on makeup and moisturizer. Please, 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 don't forget to hydrate your skin. You really have to take care of your skin so that in the long run, you will reap the benefits of it. I assure you. Take care of your skin now, you will grow old with sagging skin. Make sure to hydrate and keep your face protected with good SPF. And of course, good quality on and organic makeup. So, till my next What's in My Purse, my summer faves. Here we go.